Kato Mabua from South African Police, a wind technical. Uh, we are situated in Pretoria West. So there in a wind technical, we deal with mechanical uh, of the aircraft and then we also have avionic side of which is the uh, electrical side of the aircraft. So for you to qualify as a mechanic in uh, subs, we're gonna need your metric, you must have math and science. And then if you don't have uh, math and science, you can do your end courses under mechanic of which you can do it in your TVET colleges. And then after that, you'll be taken to a course in one of the aviation schools, of which the one that I know is Mata. It's situated in Mitren. Mm -hmm. And then there you are going to do a year course, of which that course they'll be teaching you of the mechanics. And then from there, you have to do your hours on your logbook, of which you need 2,800 hours. After that, it's where then you're gonna be able to do your trade test. Then okay. after your trade test, it's where then you're gonna write your final exam of which you're gonna get your license. That makes you a qualified uh, mechanic. Ah, interesting. Yes. So how important would you say maths and science is for, for the matriculant to want okay. to go into this field? Math and science is very important because automatically in engineering, yeah. you need math and science. So those are the main subjects. Out of many of those subjects, you have to do those two and then if you didn't pass them in your metric well yeah you can substitute them with your end courses you can do ah. your entry because entry yeah. is equivalent to metric ah, I see. so once you do your entry they'll take that math mm. and science from your entry mm. and then they'll put it there in your metric of which at the end of the day it will make you to qualify automatically to do the course okay yeah. all right no, thanks my brother. Take, take, take us through. Okay. So, I see you have an instrument so, panel yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, this is an instrument panel. We call it a cockpit. Yes. Yeah, in, in, it's inside the aircraft. So your cockpit, uh, it has some instrument on it. It's where then you can see your fuel pressure, mm. your fuel gauge, your oil pressure, and then your gyros. And mm. then it's where then you can you see talk over there. your talk over there. So automatically in, in easy way, this is like your cluster in a car yeah so it's where then you see everything here whenever you're operating an aircraft okay yeah. and i see the aptitude of the person to control this you must yeah, be a yeah, sharp you, individual yeah with a good attention span because in the car we just look for fuel yeah, speed yeah, and sometimes those, the temperature yeah some people even forget those, that yeah, in the car over here yeah, yeah. but here you must monitor every yeah all here you must monitor all the instruments that's yeah. why metal sighting is important it's important yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and is that what drives your this is what drives uh, our aircraft yeah it's uh, our engine it's an excellent engine of which uh, it's uh, 420 uh, horsepower. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then our aircraft is a B105 aircraft, which uh -huh. contains of these two engines. Oh, so, which means okay. this aircraft is too powerful because one engine yeah. is uh, 420 horsepower. Ah. Then, minimum two of them, it will be 800. Yeah, so, so the good thing. Yeah, it's a twin. So, the good thing with this aircraft, if one engine stops, you can still run with one yeah, aircraft. Yeah, second. yeah, but you just run to a point where you can be safe to them. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. So and then the attachments? This is a uh, our searchlight. Searchlight, yeah. Yeah, but this one mostly is used in operations. Yeah. For subs in most okay. cases. Whenever maybe they are searching for criminals with the they, they run maybe in the bushes. Yeah. Or whenever they are looking for a stolen vehicle, mm. this is the light they use during the night. Okay. Yeah, during this is the, the light. light of yeah. 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 And that's yeah. gonna compete with all the iPhone users. Okay. Yeah, uh, this <laughs> one, always uh, telling us this about one, buy iPhone. This one then uh, yeah, <laughs> it's iPhone 50. This one. <laughs> <laughs> top Wonder. of the range, yeah. This one is our camera. Uh, this one yeah. is top of the range. So okay. once you have this one, you are sorted. So we use it mostly to take pictures. Oh. Maybe uh, whenever there's a crime scene, yes. And then they use a helicopter. Uh -huh. They use this camera to take a picture. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's look at the bed itself now. is called B105 yeah and then it was manufactured in Germany okay. 
1986. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, but then they moved to France. So now we are using a bus, a bus which yeah. is situated in France. And then this is the cockpit we are telling you about. Mm -hmm. And then this aircraft takes at least two, mm -hmm. one pilot and a co-pilot. Mm -hmm. And then it can take at least three passengers inside. And then it runs with a, a four blade. Yes. And then we have our tail rotor blade, which is one of it. Okay. There, the back. Look at that. But yeah, before maybe let's. Look. Yeah, this is the engine. This is the engine we were talking about. Yeah. So this engine is this part, and then there's another engine that side. Mm. That's why it runs with two engines. I see. Yeah. I see. So the, the the fuel capacity of it is uh, 570 liters. Of okay. Which, and of consumption which, per hour, uh, fuel uh, flow. Of which it can take uh, three, three hours, 30 minutes okay. with a full tank. Yes. Yeah, it can take three hours, 30 minutes. That's a good fuel flow. Yeah. And then this is our the tail This is our tail rotor. Where's the Jesus bolt? The Jesus bolt is there <laughs> on top of those uh, blades there. Ah. Uh, yes. Oh, the, the middle one, not yeah, the Jesus yeah, bolt. Can you explain why it's Jesus called the Jesus nut. bolt? <laughs> because besides that nut, if that nut thing goes out, yeah, then uh, the you're aircraft gone. is gone. Say your last prayers and yeah, go meet you your maker. Yeah, say your last prayers, then you are gone. So this Eesh. is one of the aircraft we use, and this aircraft, it's a aerobatic aircraft. You can do tricks with it. Ah, okay. If you right. check your Red Bull uh, yes. competition, yes. if you check them on YouTube, yeah. they, they use this use one. This type of that's why in Germany they really like this aircraft because of what can help the abuse. Yeah. yeah. So that's the good thing with this aircraft. Okay. But uh, nowadays in subs we are having a new model aircraft. Yeah. Of which we call it a squirrel. Okay. Yeah. So ah. this is our aircraft in SAPS. This is lovely man, thanks for the walk around. Um, I didn't know this is a dual, it's a twin engine. Yeah, it's a twin engine. Now I see that uh, with one engine loss you can still manage yeah, to land. Yeah, you can still manage, but yeah. you have to go to a place of safety. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Alright.